I still have to distress this too, but I love this. Oh my God. In a new look. Very sweet. And I usually bring biscuit down here to do my sign off. Well, tonight I'm going to bring bacon, right? Hi, YouTube. It's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm going to share how to make your own homemade laundry detergent. Now, normally on my channel, I show you all tips and tricks when it comes to refinishing and flipping old furniture, but I also dabble in a little DIY for your home. So we're gonna get right into it. You guys are gonna love this recipe. I use it myself and it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Okay, so let's get over to my laundry room and let's make our very own homemade laundry detergent. First, I would like to point out the sun is out. The sun is out in New Hampshire. It's almost 40 degrees and I am loving it. It's been freezing cold here. I have so much snow outside my front door. So I'm just very excited. I see the sun coming through. Let's go vitamin D, let's go. Okay, so let's get to this recipe. I wanna show you how much we're gonna make. Now we're gonna make enough for, you ready for this? 320 loads of laundry. Yeah, 320. And I like to store this homemade laundry detergent in mason jars. So it's gonna look like this when you're done. And you're going to be able to fill five of these. And these are the larger mason jars. I think these are the 16 ounces. Yeah, these are the 16 ounce mason jars. When you're done doing this recipe that I'm going to give you, you're gonna be able to fill five of these and this will be equal to 320 loads. So how do we make this laundry detergent? It's so simple, you guys. Okay, let's talk about all the ingredients you're going to need to make your own homemade laundry detergent. You are going to need borax. You are going to need washing soda by Arm & Hammer. You are going to need baking soda by Arm & Hammer. You're going to need two bars of this. I think you pronounce it feels naphtha. Napa? I don't know. It looks like this. Oh, that's upside down. There you go. And then you're also going to need a bar of this soap. This is white soap. This. Zote. I think that's how you pronounce that. And then if you want to add a scent to your laundry detergent, you can either make it with just those ingredients. I do half and half. Some of my laundry detergent is scented and some of it's not. Um, my daughter and I have sensitive skin, so um, you can also add, for a little bit of scent, these little like pellets, these odor defense little pellets. Downy makes them, a lot of different scents. You can add these up to you. So now how much are we going to be putting in with these ingredients? Now I'm gonna show you that. Okay, if you're gonna make the full recipe that I'm giving you to make 320 loads, I would get yourself a small plastic tub somewhere in your house and make it in this because I tried making it in a large like cookie bowl that I make that I have up in my kitchen and trust me it spilled over and it was hard to mix all the ingredients so I would get yourself a plastic tote and we're gonna make the full recipe right now so you're gonna want to take that full box of borax and you're gonna want to dump that in the full thing the whole enchilada do the whole box of washing soda. That borax has a little bit of a smell to it. Woo! Washing soda. Okay, now this you'll have to measure out. You want to do four cups of baking soda.
Four cups. Dump her in. All right, this next part's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, and trust me, your elbow's gonna get a workout, your arm's gonna get a workout. You need to take a cheese grater to all three of these, okay? So this is gonna take you a little time. I'm gonna do it off camera, and then I'm gonna dump it in. But you need to take a cheese grater to all three of these. I'm just gonna show you a little bit how I do it. I use this side of my cheese grater, put it in a bowl, and scrape away. Speaking of enchiladas, anybody want some cheese? That's what this looks like. It really looks like cheese. Okay, so there's the first bar of soap. Dumping her in. Oh. Number two, my arm's already getting a full workout. This is the longest part, but it's worth it. Here is the second bar of soap. And now on to the last one that I have to grate. Whew. This one. Mm, this one smells so clean. Okay, the last one is done. This one looks like mozzarella cheese. Add that to your tub. Now you want to, ugh, this is a little heavy. You want to thoroughly mix all these ingredients. So I'll go get some wooden spoons and I'm gonna thoroughly mix all of this. I was like, why am I running upstairs for wooden spoons? I got paint stirry sticks over in my workshop. So we're gonna mix it up with this, mix it up thoroughly. And then you can take it from here and put it in whatever container that you want. Some people I've seen, they leave it in this tub and, and leave it down um, in their laundry room. Um, or they, they put it in mason jars. This makes a great gift, hint, hint. If you have somebody that would like to try out your homemade laundry detergent, awesome gift to give somebody and it's easy to do that um, in a mason jar. So it is thoroughly mixed here from what I can see. And it's gonna end up looking like this. Now this is without the freshener, the scented pellets. Um, again, you can add these. This is your choice, whether or not you have sensitive skin or you like a little bit of scent. You can add these in as well. Just sprinkle um, a little bit in. And now I'm gonna go over the ingredients. What do each of these ingredients do in your recipe? Let's go over that. guys, before I sign off with this video, I want to share some numbers with you. So I did calculate, I bought all my ingredients at Walmart and all the ingredients that I showed you, minus the downy scented pellets, um, the total was $17.48. And that's going to be able to do 320 loads of laundry. We can compare that with Tide I did some comparisons and I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna put the numbers up here. Here's the equivalent of what Tied laundry detergent would cost if we did 320 loads with, uh, with Tied. Tide runs $21.24 for a bottle of that, and that only covers 100 loads. So for 320 loads, Tide would cost us $67.97. That's a lot compared to it was only $17 here to make what we needed to make. So I also, I'm gonna put some numbers up here. Here's what gain laundry detergent would cost if we did the equivalent. And here's also, I did another one, um, Arm & Hammer. So I wanted to use examples of like a higher end brand that's more expensive like Tide, mid-range like Gain, and then a cheaper brand like Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer, so you can see the difference in savings. So it's substantial. So, oh, before I forget, Bacon, you gotta remind me of these things. 
um, how much to use for each load of laundry detergent. So the recipe calls for one to two tablespoons of the homemade laundry detergent. Um, the heavier your load, the more soiled it is, how large it is. Um, you can go up to two to three tablespoons, but each load is about two tablespoons. That's what I've been using is two tablespoons. I have used this laundry detergent. I love it. My clothes feel cleaner. They feel like they have less of a film on them. And I wear robes a lot around my house. I've got like three robes and two of them are very light colored and they get really dirty around the sleeves. And I've noticed since I started using my homemade laundry detergent, they are coming out bright, bright clean. I have one that's a white robe, bright white. I'm very impressed with how this laundry detergent is working for me. So I would love to hear from you. If you guys end up making this laundry detergent, drop it in the comment sections. I wanna know if you love it, if you don't like it, if you're having issues with it, please let me know. Um, if you've made your own homemade laundry detergent, did you use the ingredients that I listed here in this video? Did you use something differently? I would love to hear feedback with people on their own recipes. So thank you for joining me here at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration for this fun, a little off what I do here, a little DIY for the home. Look, look at Bacon, he's gonna go to sleep. He loves the sun. Hi. If you guys follow me here on my channel, thanks for joining me again. If you're new here, I would love for you to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Not only do you have to subscribe, but you have to ring that bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. So until I see you guys again, I always bring one of my chihuahuas downstairs to do my sign off and my videos. This is our big chihuahua. This is Bacon, our little Bacon butt. Bacon. So until I see you guys again, what did you say? You say toodaloo. Toodaloo, guys.